dirt roads to rock crawling, tuba chuck to screaming eagle, moonshine to 50 year old single malt. We talk about it all here on Wheelin' Wine and Whiskey with your hosts, Jason and Chris. Welcome to Wheeling Wine and Whiskey, episode 253. Good evening, Chris. How you doing? Day late and a dollar short. Well, that's all right. We're busy. Life life is busy. Adulting. Adulting has been going on. I'm done with adulting. I'm checking oh, out. Oh, there you go. Logging into a VRBO and just drinking alcohol until a I pass VRBO. out. VRBO. One of those ones with like the slide from the master bedroom down into the, the pool. Yeah, with uh, with all my my girlfriends waddling around in their waddling bikini. around. Are they pa- paddling I'm, around in their bikinis? Oh, paddling, paddling, <laughs> paddling around. That's better than waddling around. That that conjures up a not a good image. Yeah, no, it does not er- er- erase that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing doing good. Just sitting here, uh, beautiful evening in Nevada, and we got uh, got a little. Frey Ranch in my glass, a little is that, single. Is that your new yeah. favorite? Um, it's all good, man. It's all good. I, I just, I really enjoy it. And uh, this is the uh, damn near 129 uh, proof here. Oof. It's it's a it's a it's hot, but it's it's like super caramely and mellow. And then you get that you get a little heat, but it's not the heat that you would expect at that that proof. You're just going to light your fire, baby. Mm. <laughs> and the rock's good, you know? Oh, yeah. That it always soothes, soothes the pain a little bit. That is that is a good one. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to going back there, get you there. I know Jimmy yeah. Jet wants to go. Yeah, let's um, make a trip out of it. Yeah, be we'll, fun. we'll go up there and check that out and uh, see see behind the curtain uh, <laughs> a little bit more than, than just the basic tour. So... Um, yeah, let's uh, let's just get right into this, man. We got um, we just got some catching up to do, and uh, I I uh, you know I always joked around about the rubber band douche coops, and I I worked on mine the last couple nights putting a gusset kit on it that strengthens the whole bulkhead on the front. Uh huh. I don't ever want to do that again. That is just oh my gosh. What You're, you have, Jason uh, Green money. You should just pay somebody. Well, I like to do stuff, especially rigs that I'm driving. I want to know how they work. I want to know where the no, you what, don't. what size bolts are there. What tools I need to work on it because, I mean, like my buggy, the Jeep, I can, I can tear down the whole thing and camp, put it back together in camp. You know, I I know what's going on, but uh, this thing is a. Uh, a little bit of a mystery, and I, I'm diving in. And the more it's, I dive into magical. it, the less it's I like a, it. It's built by unicorns. It's, and it's a magical. unicorn. Yeah, it's 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 uh, it's unicorn farts is what it is. It's uh, <laughs> fuck. It's just man, you got to have small hands to get into some of these places, and uh, um, yeah. But you know, you know it's done, and I was covered in grease. Hands. I I should have. I mean, all, the only grease that I had there, but I had to pull the a arms, upper and lower a arms a arms off and i was like holy hell the grease from that day i was just covered in freaking grease and i should have just pressure washed the heck out of it and got it clean before but uh now anyways live and learn but i i will not do another gusset kit Um, (laughs) there's no amount of money in this world to to do that so anybody that's worked on their can-am and done that kit my hat's off to you but I took Perfect. it for a test drive today. That's the great thing, you know. I didn't have to wait till the weekend to drive it or anything. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna go run out in the old BOM lands out the back door here, and uh, went and did a quick loop around just to check everything out. And it's it's good. We're good. So every day is a weekend for you. Well, I try to be. I wish. <laughs> right. Not really. Yeehaw. Well, that's good. So you've been wrenching and banging and clanging on junk. Yeah. And Lee, Lee Lim from the Cruising to uh, Camp podcast. Is that what it's called? Cruising to Camp. Yeah, it's been a while. He hasn't um, posted an episode. He's been like uh, he, he the, did something uh, the trail fairly chasers. Recently. No, he did one fairly recently. Uh, more recently than Trail Chasers? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so he came up and spent the night on uh, Sunday night because he had to be in Sparks, Nevada on monday morning so he goes hey uh, i'm gonna stop by and say hello and i'm like you need a place to crash he goes yeah so he um put him up on the rooftop tent or what no he he didn't deploy the tent um 
it, it, there's a, you know, he had his Toyota here and uh, all the the attraction that's, boards. That's up on a top Lexus. And it's the, a Lexus, not it's a, Toyota. a Toyota. It's a Toyota. I know. Let's you just, and I both. Let's know, just call but, a spade a spade. But he's gonna he's gonna call in and say that's oh, a know. Lexus. No, it's a Toyota. So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, it was it was good to catch up with him. We we had a little bit of whiskey and uh, stuff, but he yeah he walked in the garage and he goes, "You actually work on your stuff?" And I go, "Yeah, that's what I do, man. I can't afford to have mechanics and shit." So. <laughs> don't now nah, you no nah, don't you don't don't mislead everybody. Do be do be do be do. You what had you people you there? had people work on your truck for a, a back a while back. Well, that was stellar built for steering. Right. I don't have a, a, a what do you call it the laser you know, machine to, to set your alignment and everything. I don't have those tools. I let people do that. I don't do gears because I don't have the tools to do gears. There's uh-huh. certain things I don't do like that, but I, everything else, all freaking, if I got, you know, tools and stuff, I can do it. Well, there you go. Yeah. All right. Cheers. So what do you got? <laughs> well, I'd like to say, you know, Moab, but Easter Jeep Safari is coming up very soon. And it's, people it's are happening mo- now. It's, it's FOMO. It's, that's right. It's full FOMO. See, so, if you were on the IG, on the socials, then you would see all the pictures coming in. Well, I see stuff happening on Facebook because some people cross posts. So It snowed the other day. That's and right. And people were sending pictures out in the snow. Um, Holly Fowler had, like, mud, just chunks of greasy, nasty mud coming into her rig. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it looked pretty bad. They got rain and then snow. and then, But it looks like the weather's good uh, now, so... Um, those of you that are out there listening, Dolly, hope you're enjoying yourself. She just had a birthday yesterday. Oh, Checkpoint happy birthday. Dolly's birthday was yesterday. So that'd be like two days after this episode drops. 29 um, years old. 29 so years look, young. Look up, uh, Dolly Golly on, uh, on IG and wish her a happy birthday from, uh, Tell her that Will and Wine and Whiskey sent you. That's right. <laughs> uh, that's on my bucket list to get out to Moab for sure. You would to, like to it. Do some you would like it. There's good. some great, great trails out there. I want to go back. It was six years ago. I, I looked. It, it actually came up in one of the, the memories. That is the one good thing that uh, Facebook does. Is it, It's like, oh, yeah, six years ago today, you were in Moab, Utah. Mm-hmm. So... <laughs> Unless yeah. you post some bad stuff, and then you reminds you of you know, oh, yeah, this no. is the day my horse died. Oh shit! Yeah, Seven years I, ago. I, I, wait, I was going to say I don't have a horse, but actually I do. But you do have a horse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but yeah, no, I want to get out to Moab and check it out. I know uh, Amber is out there having a having a ball, and her whole family's doing their yeah. doing their thing. The, the family that travels together. Ian's it, out there. Did you? Oh, yeah. You didn't see the socials then because uh, nope. Uh, the bottle of whiskey of Frey Ranch Rye. Mm-hmm. This episode is sponsored by Frey Ranch in no, Fallon, Nevada. <laughs> <laughs> you just start putting it out there, Chris, and maybe it'll come to fruition. But That'd uh, be great. yeah, I, I slapped a wheeling wine and whiskey sticker on a Frey Ranch Rye and brought it out to Tennessee when we made that trip early last year. Oh, yeah. And uh, he brought it to Moab and then Good. shot a picture of it. And he goes, Hey, thanks, wheeling wine and whiskey, for the. The juice uh, to to help change this transmission on this uh, Comanche or Cherokee or something. Right on, Ian. A big tire garage. Right mm-hmm. on. That's super mm-hmm. cool. Mm-hmm. Super cool. Yeah. No. I, 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 that's uh, everybody's having a ball out there, and we're uh, like you said, FOMOing. Uh, this is spring for me, so spring in the in my industry is stupid. And uh, yeah, things are just beginning. Uh, we do have a rainstorm coming in this weekend. That's going to kind of jack up my operation a little you're bit. Poking all those holes in the turf. Yeah, not liking that. But uh, you know, good news is I, I just hired somebody, so things are ramping up in that regard. So I'm looking to I'm looking forward to a great great season in the golf industry Mm. and uh, as soon as we can get through some cultural stuff but uh yeah spring traveling and and wheeling in the spring for me is is in for you back in the day was always a tough uh tough thing yeah so for sure i look forward to the day that i can retire and say yeah i've been there done that now i can go wheel and have a good time so uh what else is happening Uh, hey did you see that post on uh (laughs) facebook the Rock Sports Insiders, the, uh, you know, you were talking about it and no, I didn't see that. Um, I was, I'm, I'm not on Facebook that much, you know? And, um, anyways, I, we were just talking about it before the, the podcast here. And, mm-hmm. 
Yeah, man. What what is I don't understand. Uh, do you what do you understand of it? And let me see if we can figure this thing out. Well, I don't know, but you know, somebody like Chris Chris Ray or or even Kevin Jones can probably chime in. They probably have some more information about it and maybe we'll get you on the show about it. But it's this Ultra Four Team Charter membership, this five thousand dollar annually thing uh, that popped up that was posted, and you know I'm not sure if this is a Dave Cole thing, and all, which you know obviously he's he owns the right to Ultra Four Racing at this point, I guess since uh, uh, you know uh, what was it the what was the organization I had it for um, the oh fan- the, the you're talking about the last. Um, a- AOE, MOE, M- yeah, Mid Mid America Outdoors. Mid America Outdoors. So and so they kind of walked away from it, and and Dave Cole took it over. And I'm just curious what's happening here, but I mean, it's kind of like he's throwing it out there to or somebody, whoever's in charge now, throwing it out there to kind of plant a seed, if you will, to uh, have this this I don't know grassroots organization that's going to be kind of the governing body for Ultra Four. <laughs> And I'm I'm curious because I mean they throw down there and said you could be if you're one of the first ones you could be part of the group that ratifies the bylaws of our new organization you know if we exceed 100 applications seniority will be determined based uh, a number of U4 races participated in and then they go on to you know list some of the benefits of being a charter member or a member of uh, one of these you know charter membership issues uh, things so i don't know i mean if anybody else knows more about it we'd certainly love to hear it um there's a little bit of chatter is we we see this on uh, rock sports insiders on facebook and it's just curiosity i mean it seems like i don't know there's a lot of controversy a lot of ups and downs in the ultra four realm since uh you know it, it was created by dave kolb and then mao took it over or bought it or leased it or whatever the heck happened there and then they they walked away from it and dave kolb took it back and i I don't know you are not required to own a charter to race however the benefits of being an ultra 14 charter owner include a ginsu knife set (laughs) right a picture uh a life-size picture of dave kolb all right, so you get fifty oh, percent uh, <laughs> off U four entry fees. So you get half off, including Vegas to Reno and KOH. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, two seventy five credit towards the purchase of your twenty twenty four USAC off road competition license. KOH guaranteed entry. Leadership oh, in now, future of sport. Does anybody actually ever get turned away? Yeah, from you have to KOH? qualify on on. Uh, uh, 4,400, if there's more than 125, then you have to qualify. Uh, I don't know. There's, there's some, that's kind of changed over the years too. So, um, man, it just seems, seems weird. And here's, here's without, uh, basically what I just said is what I know about this uh-huh. a little bit. You said, um, and as far as I know, the KOH winners have not collected a check yet. Ooh, that's a, that's a, you shit. So what? And, and the results are final as far as I know. Yeah. Uh, this is, this is, this is very odd. Um, but I'll tell you, I'd be nervous if I was, um, if I was a race team that, you know, was doing this, you know, full time. Mm-hmm. Cause this seems, Seems like a cry for help, right? It does, you know, and and I just just you know I'm I'm a pretty I'm not good with numbers. There's nobody. Uh, there's a lot of people smarter than I am. But uh, I whipped out my calculator here and I added the or multiplied five thousand dollars times one hundred, which is what they're looking for at least, you know, and that's five hundred thousand yeah, dollars. Five hundred thousand. That's yeah. half a million dollars. You know, right. it's like. <laughs> yeah. Know, yeah. And, you know, obviously looking at some of the comments, some people are definitely not thrilled with the concept of having to throw no. down 500 grand. Well, you don't five, have to. It's five, not that, required. Right. But, it, it's, but if you want to be a decision maker or, you know, have a vote, yeah, uh, that that's, seem... the, I don't know. I mean, it's let's throw it out there to the listeners. You know, if some of our listeners are obviously mm-hmm. insiders, and if you're in the know, you know, throw us a DM on, uh, on the IG at, uh, you know, <laughs> 
wheeling wine I, whiskey or you can dm me at www chris m and i'll respond sometime in the next two years i i uh, feel like you you should get a shirt a commemorative hat and sticker that say i'm a charter member before <laughs> something i mean there, this is you know i man that's a lot of money to to just annually i know I mean, you know, and you start looking at the the big scheme of things. I mean, this racing thing isn't cheap, but no, five grand still is. Uh, even if it was like a grand, I, I, I don't know, man. I just I have a lot of mixed emotions, and none of them are really good. About well, there's this. there's it's, still it's, a significant fee to enter the races too. I mean, you know, like, well, yeah, uh, I'm seeing, I'm just seeing some red flags here, man. This is not good, but I, I, it'll be interesting to see. And, and I would like to know if anybody's been paid out for KOH yet. I, I mean, I don't think Randy's been paid out yet for his win and 48. And also, you know, he won overall. So right. On that, and that day, I don't, man. Uh, well, I mean, wow. you, comparing it to the MAO days, you know, with the, I mean, obviously MAO and, and King of the Hammers are totally different entities. Yeah. But it, that was one of the things the racers were super thrilled about was uh, most often during they got their, their paycheck right at the same day that they won the race. That afternoon, that evening, they were they were walking away with a check, which was pretty damn cool. So, yes. And I mean, KOH happened, what? two months ago <laughs> so yeah. and if people still think, don't have their payouts i mean that's bullshit i think about um you know people like um uh, let's say justin hall that's a good example right there mm-hmm. right he he races you know the norcal and obviously koh and he's gone out to crandon and and won that over the years i mean mm-hmm. he he hits a a handful of races on the you know on this side of the the, the United States. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, you know, do you, do you pay the five grand if you're in his shoes? And I don't know, man, that just seems that's, that's a, that's a, that's, that's pricey. pricey. <laughs> it is. Well, I mean, if you're fully committed, like, you know, Von Gittin or, or, or Lauren Healy, you know, and they're full, they're, Full yeah, time. but that that's you're talking big race team there. You're, you're talking big race team for you sure. You got sponsor money, you got all kinds of stuff, right? But then you got somebody like Slauson that races just KOH. You Correct. Know? That's I'm the pretty, thing. It's it's I'm a pretty big sure it, he's gonna what his answer will be to this charter. Membership. Right, right, right. Well, what I was going with that is if you 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 know spread it across ten races, you whatever the number is, you say you race ten races throughout the se- the series during the season. Versus one race, I mean, it's you know five hundred dollars per race at ten races, uh, versus five thousand dollars for one race, and yeah. that's that's a big yeah. nut, you know. I mean, I, yeah, but you know, also your expenses at ten races are significantly higher than just racing one race. You know, your yeah. tires and prep and fuel just oh, to yeah. get to I mean, and from the races and so forth. And I don't know. I, and there's blah, blah, blah. that doesn't seem. I mean, I, I'm not a race car driver, but um, I play one on TV. But I just, <laughs> that, that just doesn't seem that that number doesn't pan out for me to like justify anything like, yeah. Okay. So I don't have a say in where the sport goes. Well, apparently nobody's had a say in where the sport goes anyways, because it's, uh, it's at the, the whim of, of cash flow. you know? Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, it's yeah. just, man. Now, if this was like, you know, you treat it like a stock that, Okay, I I bought into Ultra Four and I own part of Ultra Four, mm-hmm. a stock maybe, like a. I mean, because the share. sport, I don't think the sport's going anywhere. I mean, there's definitely, you know, fans like us that love it, and then you know, obviously the people that are racing, and I, I mean, it's got so much momentum behind it right now. But if the dollars aren't there to keep it going, maybe this is where we're at. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. There's too much to speculate right now. Um, but well, not, I, enough, not enough information is. is I would love around. to hear hear from uh, call in man at four zero eight eight hundred five one six nine, and uh, and give us a give us your feedback, especially if you're a racer and stuff. And I want to hear what you guys think of this because 
I mean, I'm just a spectator. I, I got no skin in the game, but uh, yeah. Well, just... we we're, we're we're fans, and we we obviously yeah. enjoy it, and we want it to continue to grow and be enjoyable to watch. So, I'd hate to see this be like one of those nails in the coffin, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, I, there's a lot of lot of haters and whatnot. You you look around on Rock Sports Insiders or various sites on the on right. the uh, interwebs, and you got people that are that love it and some people that hate it and you got whatever so uh but yeah we need more information we'd love to know more if you're an insider let us know like we said call call the number or and then if anybody's been paid out if anybody's been paid out their check for koh i would like to know that too yes i'm gonna i'm gonna see the the, the giant check in the back seat of your car (laughs) absolutely happy gilmore right there so uh cool all right well moving on uh so the other other things we want to talk we have just kind of business and just ranting a little bit if you will but uh this is more of a of a psa uh so coming up next month uh is the uh, fundraiser and get together for in for Sue Lee bun yes at prairie the city the 13th of april from 10 a.m to 2 p.m uh, at Prairie City, um, I believe there's a link. You can go to Facebook. There's a link on on all the information there that's been posted by. Uh, I don't have it up on my screen, but I'll have it in the show notes on on the links to for more information on going to Prairie City, which is located just outside of Sacramento, California. If you're local to the area, or even if you're you know a couple hours away. It'd be super cool for you to make the journey up there. Yes. I'm going to be, I'm going to be on site. I think, I think, uh, JL Latte Rodney's going to be there with me. I think Jason's committed to something else. So. I am. Unfortunately, I won't be there, but, uh, you're planning on being there. So I am, I am. Y- you got the recorder, you got do. stickers. So I do. Let's do this. <laughs> So I'll be wandering around. I'll be all dolled up in my my uh, wheeling wine whiskey uh, jacket and hat and whatnot, and wandering around trying to shake babies and kiss hands or whatever. However you Something say like that. that, yeah. Something oh, like that. Um, but uh, yeah, obviously it's for a good cause. We want to, you know, hopefully raise great funds for Sue in her uh, epic fight to to rid her body of cancer that yes. horrible fucking cancer yeah um i know that some of the bills that she's been that her her and her family have been uh, occurring uh, are brutal yes so uh any little bit help that you can and, throw down is is important and just a reminder we do have that uh 1500 hours to give her from uh, justin that's right uh, wicks so you know that we raised from the prince that monica drew so um yeah, I've made arrangements uh, to get that to to her during that event. So cool. Um, I didn't want to put it in the mail. I didn't want to send it through <laughs> a you know an app that's going to take ten percent or something either. Oh, God. So yeah, so no. anyways, so that's that's really cool. So I just wanted to remind uh, everybody that that that's what's happening with that money. I call um, that sneaker mail. S- sneaker mail. Sneaker yeah. mail. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Uh, that it's it's teed up to be a great event. I'm on the uh, the little chat. I mm-hmm. get messages messages from the uh, group chat, and and uh, Sue was doing uh, pretty good last I I heard, and uh, they're getting a bunch of donations. I mean, great. I think a generator just came in uh, for a donation. I mean, there's some incredible oh, the raffle? stuff. Yeah, so That's and they're cool. going to live auction some stuff. So. Um, it's, it's very cool. So I'm, I'm excited and, uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to miss it, but, uh, be there in spirit and, uh, it's going to be a great <laughs> event. So if you can make it out, check it out on right. April 13th at Prairie city. That's right. Excellent. Very cool. Other news. Uh, so yeah, we mentioned Easter, Easter Jeep Safari and Moab, but Easter Sunday is coming up. So hopefully everybody's going to have, have an opportunity to spend time with their family, whether whatever your uh, denomination is but you know spend time with your family and i like hundreds <laughs> hundreds uh do a little easter egg hunting eat some candy and uh, hopefully get together and have a couple of adult beverages and enjoy a nice feast yeah apparently i'm hosting i got voluntold that i'm hosting so what are you having i'm doing honey, ribs h- honey baked ham or ribs no, i'm doing ribs I'm gonna do some baby backed ribs mom's making potato salad get in bread. my belly gonna be good stuff yeah oh, right on you gonna do yeah. them on the smoker oh yeah yeah getting comfortable with that thing now it works oh, really good. well 
It'll probably snow up there. Actually, the weekend's supposed to be kind of Friday. Are you going to looking at Friday and Saturday having some weather up there? I think so. Yeah, we had uh, woke up to white snowy morning on Saturday morning. Mm-hmm. So that was cool. Yeah, it's supposed to rain down here. We're looking at an inch of rain, so Whew. that could Perfect be interesting. Verification, <laughs> exactly. So, hey, I did. I did want to circle back on one thing, and sure, and we we beat up. Um, or I beat up uh, Kyle Cheney pretty bad on this whole, uh, you know, uh, missing a trail and all that stuff. Right? Oh yeah, I mean, we've, we've we've really beat that that horse on the VCPs and stuff, and with did Randy reach and Amber, out? no, but I did watch. Um, he put out a YouTube uh, about a week ago, um, so it's it's worth the watch. Okay, um, it's it's an hour long, and but he he fully you know admits to like, hey, we we didn't do our homework, and next year we're we're doing our homework and we're getting after this thing. Um, Owning but it, the, yeah. Oh, he totally owns it, and um, but. I, you know, there's always two sides to a coin and to hear him talk about, (laughs) you know, where they, they, they didn't intentionally miss it. You know, it wasn't calculated like, Oh, we're going to miss this trail. Right. And take the penalty or whatever. Yeah, exactly. They were, they were actually shocked that they missed it, but that's where the homework part came in because you got to really know it. Cause Dave threw in some little offshoots of trail. Like Randy talked about, you know, the fishing Mm -hmm. hole. Right. It's, it's not far off trail. And, you know, you have typically 150 feet um, from the center line of the trail to, to go in places, you know, where there's not a VCP or whatever. But sure. anyways, it, 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 it was a good video, YouTube video. You can look it up um, and and see. Um, I mean, that car was falling apart, though. I mean, they had all kinds yeah, of issues think? going on. It was, <laughs> but it was cool to see. They had a lot of in car footage, and you know, that's that's just fun to watch. And um, so, well, the anyway, speculation was that if he had actually done the whole whole race uh, course, that he probably wouldn't have made it to the finish line with the condition. The yeah, car was and in. and and the the trails that he missed, it was not like crazy, you know, like freaking sledgehammer and stuff but still or medusa uh, or shit it like wasn't, that yeah or medusa it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't intentional they honestly thought they they were on course the entire time and um and missed it so anyways it, it you know and then hearing randy's insight uh on the on the you know course mapping and stuff was was interesting as well so right, right. you know but maybe with this five thousand dollar charter membership everybody will get a good uh, map of the course for a change i don't know oh wow we're throwing dark so you mentioned youtube and uh, so are you uh, i want to throw down that uh I had two people reach out to me. One was Jimmy Jett from Snail Boys, Snail Trail 4x4, and my son Craig. Uh, both mentioned to me that our podcast was not showing up on YouTube music. So that prompted me to, because it was showing up on my YouTube music, and I did a bunch of research, and uh-huh. I'm like, what is going, why is it showing up on mine? Well, apparently when I, when I uh, put YouTube music on my phone, I did a, Something I did made it search for the R the uh, directly to the I know the RSS feed for oh, our okay. show, so I plugged it in there, and so I had uh, Wheeling Wine Whiskey showing up on YouTube Music on my phone, but it oh, wasn't showing up for anybody else. So I went through the process of uh, activating and whatever enabling or whatever you want to call it to make uh, Wheeling Wine Whiskey available on YouTube mm-hmm. Music, and I think I ranted about it because Chris Ray reached out to me the other day about what was that oh, app you mentioned uh anyway he uh i i emailed him back but uh oh good because uh he did leave me a voicemail and said that he was going to call you so you gotta, yeah I'll no i, I yeah I, I got that i got that handled but yeah it was interesting that i needed to do jump through some hoops and i i will say that i'm a i'm an android guy and i know there's a lot of android people and then there, of course there's apple people iphone people whatever right. Uh, and I, I will say that I have a greater appreciation with the stability of the uh, Apple slash iPhone world re- with regards to apps and not jacking around with things. And that's what you know pisses me off about Android sometimes and Google right. is constantly changing their goddamn applications. I was happy as a clam and most people were happy as a clam with Google Podcasts. This super simple, easy to use uh, app 
on the phone that just worked. And right. then for whatever reason, they decided, no, we're going to make it YouTube music and we're going to discontinue app or Google podcasts. And so they made us, you know, all transition. Well, I tried Apple or, uh, uh, uh was it, uh, YouTube music and it sucks. I'm <laughs> this, if anybody from Google listens to the show, Google music, or uh, YouTube Music, the app on the on the uh, on the uh, Android phone sucks. It just really? sucks. It's it's horrible. It's not intuitive. It's 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 all. Oh God, it's horrible. Wow. I don't even know what else wow. to say about it. I finally abandoned it and I went to uh, Podcast Addict uh, on Android, and it's a it's so I'm learning to use it. It's 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 certainly intuitive. It's I'm getting better with it, and I'm getting comfortable with it. It's it does everything I needed to do. Wheeling Wine Whiskey is is on there. So, but yeah, holy crap, this is like so frustrating, but I'm also into the, you know, open environment of, you know, applications and and phones and whatnot. So Android fits me perfectly, right? but, uh, but it would, YouTube music was so horrible. I was sitting there at home, sitting in my home here and I'm like, fuck, I'm going to go buy an iPhone because I can't deal with this shit. This is stupid. Wow. It sucks. The, the YouTube music app sucks. So if you're, if you're an Android user, Use Podcast Addict. You'll thank me for that advice. You're welcome. Nice. <laughs> I have heard good things about Podcast Addict. So, yeah, it's good. Good. Good, good. <laughs> well, there you go. Now, you, you so you mentioned we had some uh, I got voicemails. Some voicemails, yeah. Let me see if I can tee these up here. So, I think we got three. Um, so, let me see how this is going to work. And... Hey guys, Kevin Boyer, JD Wheeler on Instagram. Oh yeah. I was sworn to introduce myself, but I must have started talking before the beep. <laughs> hey, uh, so I think we're going with Toilet. I think that's what we're going to decide. Toilet. Because it's registered as a Toyota, but majority of it's Chevy. Uh, Ford was just as hard to introduce into any of that. Um, hey, I had some questions. I'm kind of wondering. I just spent the last, I don't know, two weeks over in Alabama checking out the wheeling. Maybe all the small plan now is there. Um, Ian Johnson gave a couple hints of some places. Uh oh. Oh boy. What happened? He dropped off. I think where you guys have been, stuff in like Hawkeye and some other areas. But we're just kind of looking to get out of California, and I'm curious how Nevada is. I haven't really looked into Nevada, just thinking, hey, it's close to California, and I kind of want to get away from the state. Uh, I know you, Jason, got out. I'm just kind of curious how the Nevada area is. I hear you talking about the wheeling a little bit, but. I might start looking into that area as well. I want to stay close to the Sierras. So we'll see. Anywho, you guys have a good day. You too. Nice. I did not leave, leave. I did not leave California. You so. did not. You're still in California. I mean, California. Yeah, well. And um, yeah, it's uh, Tennessee is uh, is is uh, Alabama. We we did that. Uh, holy smokes! It's it is swampy out there. <laughs> Wet. It's a different type of wheeling. It's man. a whole different world out it's there, a different, man. Different 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 world. Mosquitoes are out, bigger. The, the the banjos are louder. It's uh, yeah, but she sure um, got a pretty toilet. <laughs> uh, to, yeah, exactly, <laughs> toilet is good. I like that toilet. That's that's like it's like kicking it up a notch. There It sounds fancy. Um, and Nevada, no, Nevada sucks. I wouldn't, I wouldn't come here. It's uh, no, no Lou, vacancy. Lou should have told you up front. No vacancy. Um, it's definitely different and uh, desert, um, high desert, and uh, you know, rocky desert terrain. Uh, Tumbleweeds, cool, cool stuff. Tumbleweed, sagebrush, you know. Um, but it's it's freaking awesome. I love it. Um, but it's it is a different different uh, dry environment i'm drinking like 16 glasses of water a day stay hydrated out here but uh i love it i love the sierras i I love being close to all our good rock trails and stuff up here and so yeah check it out man give me a call dm me uh come on by there you go hey you mentioned sage and so forth uh did you uh did you smudge your house no why Oh, that's like supposed to like set the stage and kind of change the vibe and and cure the home when you when you what, burn sage. Charmin or what? It's called smudging. I don't know if you've heard of that or not. No, 
you no, get I'm a little well bit, read you, like you. you. You burn a little bit of sage in your brand new home, and it, it just kind of cleanses the place. Did you do that? Of course, do I you do. do it. Of course, I do it, I I do it daily. I smoke sage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have. <laughs> I'm gonna have a Charmin come over and do that. It's called smudging. Yeah, you should. Uh, you should educate yourself a little bit on that. People that okay. move into homes should smudge. I, I smudged a lot of grease on the garage floor last night. Does that count? It's like burning incense, but you need to do the you need oh, to do I the hate whole burning incense. I uh, hate incense. You just do uh, it once. It's it's a whole I know, vibe hate, thing, you know. Well, I got a good vibe here. Ask Lorenzo. He's he's really liking it. Okay. Well, yeah. anyway, just, yeah. right. I just I just wanted to mention it. Just smudge okay. your home. You, you ready for another one here? I, I am. Okay, here we go. What's up, guys? Frank and Rob here. Hey uh I was just thinking, uh, Randy says he wants to make next year harder. Uh, Randy should run the Samurai next year. <laughs> I think that would make it harder for him. Oh, boy. And uh, I also wanted to tell Amber congratulations, although I've probably said it on her Facebook page and Instagram a few times. And uh, Toyota stuff. There you go. I love it. I love it. Wreck it raw, man. Well, so <laughs> if, if Randy raced the Samurai in, in King of the Hammers, it would be a 4,500 car with a freaking uh, LS3 let's, in it or let's, something. Let's, let's go back here a little bit. I'll see you guys later. Oh, I didn't go back far enough. Hang on. Oh. Toyota, stop. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. And they do. Boom. <laughs> Reg and Rob, how you doing, man? Right on. That's cool. Yeah, no, I love, that's a great idea. Randy should do it in the Samurai. Absolutely. That would be freaking hilarious. Yeah, it'd be like, it'd be like uh, you know, playing golf with old wooden <laughs> clubs, you know? <laughs> get, all the, get all the tour pros to play the masters with old style golf clubs. Hickory, hickory shafted clubs. <laughs> Call that oh, handicapping. That, yeah. I like that. Yeah. It's just like when they um they dumbed down the golf ball. Remember when right. they dumbed down the golf ball to, so it didn't didn't fly as far and because and golf courses were becoming uh obsolete with you know Tiger Woods and stuff bombing at three hundred and sixty yards down the fairway. Yeah, well, um, what's what's that golf course up in northern nor up way northern California that was built by or designed by John Daly that's that plays like eight thousand yards or something? Yeah, yeah. I don't uh, know what the name of that golf course is, but that, yeah, I that mean, would be yeah, that would definitely make it harder. I like it, I like it, and I agree with you. Toyota suck. Uh, <laughs> One more. Hey friends, it's uh, Melissa here from Evolve Racing. Oh, 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 oh Melissa. To um, Amber and Randy's. Wait, what's Melissa's alias? Natalia. Natalia. Podcast. You guys did a great job. I think that's the most I've ever heard Randy talk in his entire existence. <laughs> but, uh, great, great listening in on that. Hey, I think we need to have a uh, girls, the girls' night podcast. You know, get Amber, Sarah there, maybe Megan Miller. Can do a whole little race girls chat. Keith is going to listen to this sometime and he's going to be like, what the hell, Melissa? <laughs> We're going to blame it on Natalie at this point. But, uh, oh, see, yeah, let's, uh, let's hook up. All right, guys. Um, hopefully you guys come out to Prairie City. We'll be there. We're going to be racing uh, April of that 5th and 6th. Yeah, we'll be there the for that. And the whole NorCal Rock Series. So okay. let us know. All right. Bye, Lorenzo. <laughs> she, she said bye to a donkey but not she me said That's bye bullshit. To that is great i like wow. that all girls podcast yeah, it could be a takeover they could just we let's could, give them the microphone on the recorder and just we let them just, do their thing that would we'll be kind sit, of fun sit actually. back in the corner and drink that would be fun i think so let's make that happen that'd be cool okay that's a good idea melissa i mean natalia or whatever your name is or whatever your <laughs> alias is today no that's good i love it Okay, right duly on. noted. Duly noted. Mark that down as something to get done. Yeah. The okay. Ten. Cool. That's what we got. That's that's it. Well, I mean, we're kind of caught up on all that stuff. We, It's a day late and a dollar short like we started out at the beginning of the episode. But as Jason said, you know, adulting gets in the way sometimes of us making yeah. shit happen. Been, I got to put a no vacancy sign out front of my house. <laughs> 
<laughs> There's been a lot of visitors lately. And I've only been there like three times since mm-hmm. you've moved in. But, uh, you know, your place is cool. It's not my speed for being up in that area. But usually when I'm up there, I'm visiting my mom and helping around her place. Right. So, um, you know, she's fortunately doing pretty well right now. So that's good, good news. Um, but, uh, yeah, things. And then I've got. My niece is getting married in uh, May uh, down uh, up in Petaluma, so that's going to be an exciting event. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot going on. This spring is cr- is jam-packed with all sorts of activities between work-related, off-road. Well, I don't think I'm going to be doing much off-roading. It's more social stuff for my family and whatnot. So, right. Um, but yeah, just all sorts of life, you know, regular life is kind of in the, in, in the midst, in the mix of in things. The mix. So, in the mix. Uh, but my plan and I, I was kind of mapping out my summer. I, obviously the things I want to shoot for off-roading wise, I want to be at adopt a trail this year, whenever that's going to be, hopefully the snow is, uh, you know, fairly mild. And then obviously, and then the other thing that it's high on my list is to do Sierra Trek this year. That's okay, uh, I good. missed last year and I uh, hated it. But uh, you know, my mom's 80th birthday was kind of an important thing. So, right. Uh, we do want Sierra Trek and uh, Adopter Trail are high on my list. So okay, those are gonna happen. Okay, all right, good, good, good. Yeah, it's. Um Man, I mean, it, it's spring now. And it's time. <laughs> Literally, yeah. It is time. I mean, it just, it, it's like, you know, it's like still snowing and then boom, spring. <laughs> more spring well, snow. You're going to get more snow and the Sierras are going to get more snow. Uh, I mean, it, there's always those late season storms that hit. I mean, I, I can rem- I remember driving in the Sierras to go up to Reno, God, two or three years ago. And it was, it was May and it was like a fucking blizzard going on. I'm like, wow. Oh, this is pretty epic. Um, and then driving home the next what, two days later, it was like freaking bone dry and blue skies, you know? Right. So that's the beauty of the Sierras. You just never know what you're going to get or, or what they say. Wait five minutes. It's going to change. I, they say that for the, for the new, for new England I know. too. So I know, but uh, yeah, we're just all living our lives and, and doing what we need to do. So, um, but uh, making it happen. We yeah. apologize for being a couple days late with this episode, listeners. But uh, well, it's only you know, gonna be a day late or so. Yeah, so okay. uh, I don't know. It's uh, it'll Two probably days get late. Three <laughs> it might days be Thursday. Late. So four days late. Uh, so, hey, uh, the ways they can reach us, you can go to, uh, hey, we need to give a shout out to our good friend Austin at irate4by4.com. Yes. Uh, that's one of the greatest places you can go to get all sorts of great information on off-roading, whether you're in the Toyotas or uh, Jeeps <laughs> or Chevrolets or Fords or jo- Dodges or whatever you happen to feel like you need to drive. Uh, a lot of great information there that, that's conveyed from from the different forums. Uh, also, you can find, you go down to watch, listen, and, and discuss. You can see our podcast, or Wheeling Wine Whiskey. Click on that and you'll see uh, on the right side, you can see ways to support the show directly, which is super helpful for, for, for us. Not required, but super helpful. Um how else can they get a hold of us, Jason? Well, you know, of course, uh, email Jason at wheelandwineandwhiskey.com, Chris at wheelandwineandwhiskey.com, Lorenzo at wheelandwineandwhiskey.com. Uh, you already said the phone number, but we can say it again. 408-800-5169. Give us a call. We'll play your message on the air. And uh, good old IG, you know, that's uh, that's where I hang out. Yep. IG. So uh, I pop in and pop out depending. Yes, on, you, it just depends on your mood, what you're feeling. I, I, f- I find it my mental health is better when I'm not on the gram. But, really? Uh, but then I have to pop in because I need to get caught up on is things like FOMO or what? What are you seeing that's triggering you? Well, it's it's FOMO. It's like people are having way more life fun events than I am, and it's like you know whatever. So, but well, I also I also fun. realize that most of Instagram is not real. So. <laughs> So, uh, it's all you know it's, it's all curated and whatnot so but you know i mean we all live our lives our ways and you know we have to do what we have to do so i get it yes we do um, yes we but, do yeehaw so anyway we got some great content coming up i'm gonna hopefully record some stuff when i'm at prairie city at sue's event and I don't think I'm going to be at the racing the week before. No. Uh, I got too much going on at the beginning of the month. But uh, and we'll, happy we'll Easter, everybody. Happy Easter. Yeah, my God. Don't eat happy, too much candy. Don't get Easter. sick. 
<laughs> Watch out for I'm those rabid sure. rabbits. They, yeah, got a lot of rabbits up here. Oh, yeah. Cottontails. Yeah, yeah good eating, man. Haas and Pfeffer. Yeah, Haas and Pfeffer is good. Yes, I have had that in Germany. Authentic. <laughs> I've had it. I've had it at your house. Your your cousin brought rabbit yes, over that one time, and yeah, we've had your, a rabbit before. Your, your old place in San Jose. Rabbit's good. Oh, so duck season. <laughs> it's duck season. No, it's rabbit season. That's right. All right. Well, that sounds good. Uh, well, good good update. Uh, well, again, Ultra Four Charter membership. Let me know. It's yeah. like a, a country club membership. I don't know. This Get us. Let, let us know it's if you weird. know more. That'd be, it's it'd be good for us to convey the message to other people because we wants to know, man. We wants yeah. to know. Yeah. Oh man. All right. And uh, with that, Chris, we're out. <laughs> <laughs>